everyone, welcome back. So I'm going to set myself a little week-long challenge here on my channel. I am going to wear for seven consecutive days, I'm not going to break this week up, I'm going to wear a different red lipstick. Now I am a lipstick fan, not even just a lipstick fan actually, I love the whole category of lip products. It has always been my favourite makeup items to buy and to wear. I have quite a big lip makeup selection. I've got lots of lip liners, lip glosses, I've got a couple of liquid lips in there, I've got lots of lipsticks as well. So I have quite a big kind of selection of lip products to choose from. I have also put myself on a replacement only no buy for the rest of this year. So I am only allowed to buy a makeup item if it is something that I have completely run out of. And for all of my lip products, they will be excluded from this because I have multiples of them within my collection. So just to kind of, I don't know, spice things up a little bit, just to kind of wear more of my colours instead of always going for my favourites, I have decided to wear a different red lip for seven consecutive days for a week and see if there are any learnings to be had from it. If there's not, then hopefully it's just a fun little challenge. And I do actually have seven, exactly seven, red lip options to go for. I did have some that kind of are a bit more rusty, a bit more orangey, that I could have possibly put in this challenge, but if we're talking about pure reds, then I do, weirdly enough, have seven. So I do have a different one for each day of this challenge. I have six lipsticks, two of which are in my project pan, which, which will be good to get those worn, and also a lip gloss as well. And I'm going to do a little daily check-in for each of the lipsticks that I'm wearing as well. So starting off with day one, which is today's lipstick, which is my most recent, or one of my most recent lipsticks actually, the, this one or my Merit ones. But the one I have on today is by Lisa Eldridge. It is Velvet Dragon. It's quite a matte formulation, but actually... This feels really comfortable on the lips. Before I started this video, I did just kind of check because I, I filmed a video prior to this one. And I was like, oh, I don't quite feel my lipstick. Has it come off? No, it's still on. So it is a very comfortable lip product to wear. So it is like a burnt orange red colour. So this is a warm orange based red. So not suitable for your cool tone people unless you just want to wear a colour like this. But this is best suited to people who have warm complexions and I very much love wearing an orange based red. I don't wear reds that often but when I do a burnt one like this, beautiful, love it. Quite easy to put on, you don't have to apply much pressure at all, it just kind of glides on. So this is a couple of coats, I blotted it with a tissue, I also got a lip brush and brushed it in as well and then the lip liner is MAC Chicory. And then with the rest of the makeup, I've tried to go as kind of neutral, as minimal as I possibly can. Now, whenever I put a red lip on, or if you're going to put a bright bold lip or a, or a dark lip, if the lipstick is the main focal point of your makeup, try to put it on as early as you can when you're doing your makeup. So I did my primer, under eye corrector, foundation concealer, and then I put my lip product on. And then I did my cream, cheap products, eyes powder cheek products because having the lipstick on first really dictates how much more makeup you need on top of it and where this is I suppose one of my boldest red lips I didn't really want much else going on with my makeup so if you're finding it a little bit tricky to match your blush or your eyeshadow, eyeshadow to your lipstick put your lipstick on first because you can then sort of see how intense you need to go on the blush whether you need any eyeshadow on or not. So with my eyes I just had a Vive shadow stick, blended it out and then put like a matte ivory shade on top of it, curled my lashes and that was it. A little bit of product in my brows, a little bit of cream cheek products and then a little bit of Milani Luminoso blusher, so like a two-in-one highlighter blusher going on. I didn't actually go for any powder bronzer today and but I feel like this is enough. The lips are doing the, the hard work of the makeup here, they're, they're the main focal point of the makeup so I, I didn't want anything else going on and trying to compete with it. So for day number one then, I really quite like this lip colour, I think it's really really beautiful, like I say I do really enjoy an orange based red but it's not too bright, it is quite a toned down burnt 
kind of colour and I'm just filming today, I'm editing and I don't feel like this is kind of too much makeup so it's one that I can wear during the day but also would be great for going out of an evening and like I say really really comfortable as well, great formulation, excellent quality, I love the packaging of this as well, it's magnetic, the lipstick itself has got little tiny little like ridges on it and it just looks like such an elegant lipstick and to be honest Lisa Eldridge I, I wouldn't expect any less she's such an elegant classy woman and I'm really happy to have a couple of her lipsticks within my collection and would be interested in adding more into my collection in the future but I can't do it for the rest of the year because I want to make up on a replacement only no buy rather but anyway, this is lipstick number one for day one of wearing a red lip for every single day for the next week. And then for day number two, I've gone for a lipstick that's in my project pan. This is the MAC Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Stick. It's a bit of a long name. And it's in the shade Sweet Cinnamon. It's one of these long lipsticks. Twist it up and you've got your lipstick there. I've tried a Powder Kiss lipstick from MAC that's in like a bullet lipstick form. Really, really comfortable. And this is the same. It does feel really comfortable on my lips. However, not as comfortable as the Lisa Eldridge one, to be honest. And I was expecting them two to be round the other way because I have one powder kiss before I know that it is really comfortable now I'm not sure if it's just how I've applied it today I don't know if I've done something different but it feels just slightly dry today it's not quite as comfortable as it has been but it is still a really comfortable lipstick to wear really pigmented it glides on really nicely and I like the rounded applicator I know some people say that you can't be as precise with it i personally don't find that i quite like the rounded applicator and i like that it's quite sort of slim it is long but i find that it doesn't really take up much space in my bag if i was to take this out with me the color is still a warm red color but it is a darker color so in comparison to yesterday's lip color velvet dragon this is a darker warm red but i feel like it goes really well with the top, I feel like there's a good amount of contrast going on. So I do really like this colour, so I think it is a lovely colour. Possibly one that I would maybe only wear for like an evening, perhaps. I'm not sure if I would wear this one as often as a daytime lipstick as I would do like the, the Lisa Eldridge one, but I still don't think it's too much, it's too dark. And then in terms of the rest of the makeup, I've gone quite light again. I've applied this in a similar way to what I did yesterday so I did my base products and then did the lip and then did all the cheek products afterwards and the eyes the eyes I've just done a little bit of eyeshadow and I've got a brown powder as like an eyeliner and then I've paired it again with the MAC Chicory lip liner I think this is probably going to be the lip liner that I'm going to wear with all of my red lips this week this is a warm orange based red lip liner i do have a deep coral lip liner from house of color which is like a bright orangey red it's meant to be suitable for the coral lipsticks but i personally find it too dark so i might wear that one with it but i do think i will probably wear this mac lip liner with it so we will see how this one pairs with lots of the other lip colors that i'm going to wear this week but this is lip option number two so this is actually day number four. I wore this lipstick yesterday, filmed some footage, but when I went to edit it, the colour was just really bad. I couldn't fix the colour in the editing process. So I was like, right, I'll just wear that lipstick for day number four. So this is my Brick lipstick from House of Colour. It is one of the three points of red for autumns in the House of Colour system. You can see in the bullet and also on my lips that this is quite a bright, warm red i think in terms of color it's my least favorite out of the three so far just because of the brightness i like that it's a warm base red but it is just a touch too bright for me i feel like the other two that i've worn so far this week are a lot more wearable than this however i have worn this with red tops previously and it works really well so it might just be that this is a lipstick that i reserve for those days when i'm wearing red on my top half Whereas with my other two red lips so far, I feel like they would work with pretty much most other tops that I own. In terms of the makeup, I've done it exactly the same as I did yesterday. So quite kind of neutral, natural base, not too much going on on the eyes. I have done my brown liquid liner in my 
project pan but everything else is just pretty neutral because with a red lip I, I want that to be the focal point. In terms of application this applied pretty well. I always do with any of my lipsticks I do two coats. I put one coat on, blot it with a tissue, another coat and then a lip liner. The lip liner that I've used is the House of Colour Deep Coral one. I think I'm confusing myself. I think because this has got coral in the name I'm thinking it's for coral lipsticks but I do actually think it's for the red because this works so much better with the red lipstick than with the coral lipsticks that I own. But a really comfortable lipstick. I think the trick with this one though is to kind of like push it into my lips after I've put on each kind of layer of it. I feel like that makes it look a little bit better as well. It's quite comfortable. I don't really kind of notice it on my lips too much. So in terms of comfort, it's probably the most comfortable. It's probably tied actually with Lisa Eldridge in terms of the comfort, but the colour it is my least favourite because of the brightness. So I do have another red lip that I need to put on today. I might do it straight away or I might do it later. But anyway, you will see me again in a moment with my fourth red lip on. But this is the third one. This is number 12 brick from House of Colour. So I've just had some breakfast, took that other lip on and have put on the one for day four. This is one of my new lipsticks. I bought two lipsticks from Merit. This is the shade Aperitif. So this is the more neutral red it's not particularly heavy in blue undertones or orange undertones so it's meant to be quite a universally flattering lipstick shade and from memory it might change this week once I put Carbo on but I prefer this one over Carbo. Such a super comfortable lipstick this is definitely the most comfortable out of the four because you really can't feel like you're wearing anything. Really easy to apply as well. I didn't use a lip liner for this. I mean, you might be looking at it thinking, well, you need one, but I didn't feel like I needed one when I was applying it. And actually, because it's still quite new, I was able to just use this to line my lips with. So really easy to apply, fairly pigmented as well, but it's got a really nice kind of sheen to it. So it's not a full like matte lipstick so I do like the overall appearance of this one like the shade like the color in terms of formulation definitely my favorite so far in terms of color I think it's tying with the Lisa Eldridge one I still think brick from House of Color is my least favorite in terms of color but this one I think ties with Lisa Eldridge I'm gonna see how this one lasts during the day as well. My Lisa Eldridge one I had to top up a little bit. The MAC one I didn't really, that one kind of stayed put all day and then the House of Colour one I had to tidy up a little bit after I'd eaten as well. So we'll see how this one lasts all day and also see if I do need to touch up as well what it's like in terms of applying more lipstick over the top because sometimes, especially with a red lip, it's just easy to get it all off and then just start again. Just want to say as well with this one i think you can no longer get this one they seem to only bring this one out in summer i mean even though it's only the first of august today actually as i'm filming this i don't think you can get this anymore which is a little bit frustrating because i think a lot of people really do like this particular lipstick shade but have a look online i might be wrong you might still be able to get it but if not carbo is a red option you can go for if you want to try the merit lipsticks but anyway this is lipstick number four Day number five, I've gone for a gloss and I've actually worn it with my red jumper today. I probably should have worn this red jumper with the brick lipstick, but, oh well, too late for that now. But anyway, this is the Paprika 86 gloss from House of Colour and I decided to go for this one today because I've got quite a few meetings and I thought that this would be less bold, I suppose, than some of my red lipsticks. And also this is just way more like lower maintenance as well, because you don't have to kind of blot in between layers. You don't have to tidy up with a brush or go in with a lip liner. I can just whack some of this on and I'm kind of done. And it's a bit more of like a fresh take on a red lip as well. A red lip can sometimes be too matte, maybe too, too flat perhaps as well as with a gloss, it's a little bit more youthful, a little bit more playful as well. And then with the rest of the makeup, I have kept things fairly neutral in terms of like the base. My base makeup doesn't really change ever, to be honest. But with the eyes, I've gone for a bit of a wash of the NARS is old shade, the darker of the two shades that I've got on my pan in every eyeshadow palette challenge, that challenge. And I decided to put a little bit of something on the eyes because the lip isn't as bold, bright of a colour and it doesn't have as much saturation as say like a lipstick would do. And I think it's okay. I think it's a, a fairly kind of good balance going on between the two. Now, as this is a gloss, 
it's very comfortable, very hydrating, very soft. I really love these House of Colour lip glosses. I've mentioned these quite a few times before, but you get a really good amount of pigment. This is just one layer of pigment and I've got enough red coming through here. I don't have to go in lots and lots of layers to get some pigment. The colour you see in the tube, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, is the colour that you get on your lips. Now longevity, yes it won't last as long as a lipstick will, but I don't mind that. I'm just working from home so I can just keep reapplying throughout the day so that is fine. Really like this option. This is one of my favourites because it's more wearable, it's more user friendly, it's not as intense, but I do still think I prefer Lisa Eldridge Velvet Dragon. So I've had five of these now, haven't I? Maybe this is like second or third, possibly. In terms of formulation and comfort, yes, this is the winner because it is a gloss and not a lipstick. But the colour, I do still think that I prefer Lisa Eldridge Velvet Dragon. I've got two more shades left. I've got Merit Carbo and then I've got my other lipstick in my project pan, which is Estee Lauder Persuasive. So I've got two more days left of this challenge, but this is day number five. This is Paprika 86 Lip Gloss from House of Colour. So Penultimate Lipstick is my other one from Merit. This is in the shade Carbo. This is an orange based red and actually quite similar to Aperitif. I didn't know if they would be that similar when I bought them. I thought it might not be worth getting both, but I did want to try both. But actually they are quite different. This one is that orange based, based red, whereas Aperitif is much more of a neutral red. It's got both orange and blue undertones to it, which is why they call it like their universal red. Now I did originally prefer Aperitif over Carbo, which obviously is the one I have on today. But actually I am really enjoying Carbo today so much more than the past few times that I've worn it. I'm not sure whether it's the fact that I've got green on as well and having like my warm hair. I think all of it is kind of working pretty nicely together. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this one today. So far, I think this one in terms of colour is probably my favourite or it's maybe up there with the with the Lisa Eldridge one and formulation as well really creamy it's got this nice kind of sheen to it as well so you can wear it quite sheared out I've gone in with a couple of coats I always go in with a couple of coats with my red lipstick but you can blend it out with your lip and create that like light sheer lip effect so the bullet lipstick glides on really well and I use the pointed edge as like my liner so I haven't got a separate lip liner on with this today and I find that that works pretty well with this lipstick. And then the rest of the makeup like I always do, I keep it very kind of natural and paired back. I have slightly less eyeshadow on today than I have done over the past couple of days but everything is kind of quite neutral, quite paired back to let the lipstick really kind of shine through. But I really like this one today. I think this one is absolutely lovely. I think I might actually prefer it to Aperitif. I don't know, it depends. If I want that real like classic French girl lipstick, I would go for Aperitif. But this one, because it is orange based, warm based, I feel like it might suit me that little bit better. I don't know, let me know down below which one you prefer. After you've seen all seven of them, let me know which one you think is the best one on me. But yeah, anyway, this is the penultimate lipstick. This is Merit Carbo. Okay, last day and saving what I think is the best until last. This is Estee Lauder Persuasive. This is another of my red lipsticks that's in my project pan because I don't have too much of this left. I mean, it's still gonna take me a while to get through it and it is one of my oldest lipsticks in my collection. And this is my trusty go-to red lip. I really really love this it's a lovely orange based red but it's nothing too bright or too bold or too overpowering in the orange applies really lovely again this is two coats and i've got mac chicory lip liner on with it rest of the makeup again is fairly neutral as well i do have a bit of my blusher in through my eye sockets i'm trying to use that blusher up but yeah i just love this red lip this is the type of lip color that i just feel like quite confident in and I think with red a bit for a lot of people and myself included it can feel quite intimidating and I feel a little bit self-conscious in it but with this one I really don't 
So in terms of colour, this one I think is my favourite. I think this one does beat Velvet Dragon. I think Velvet Dragon is a little bit darker than this. I am going to put up pictures as well on my Instagram with all of the seven lip colours so I can kind of sort of see the differences in all of them. In terms of formulation, this is one of the most comfortable ones as well. It is fairly matte, but it doesn't feel matte. It does have a nice bit of hydration to it and this is a really long lasting lip colour as well like I say it's my go to red lip so I know how this one applies I know how it lasts throughout the day I'll need very sort of like minimal touch ups on this one which is good so I think for me this one is my favourite but please let me know down below which one you think is your favourite or the best on me in terms of learnings I don't think there's too much to kind of take away from this week the only kind of things that I can think of are that I do like to have other lip colours apart from red if I only had a red to wear every single day of the week I would get very bored of it despite the fact that all of my reds are actually quite different and you might think a red lip is a red lip but no I do see differences in all of my red lips this one and Carbo are my orange based red lips Carbo is slightly brighter than this one it's got more of a sheen to it a aperitif, aperitif is that kind of neutral both blue and orange based red MAC Sweet Cinnamon is slightly darker, Velvet Dragon is also slightly darker as well but that one has more of that orange tone to it and Brick is my bright warm red, that's the brightest out of all of them and then my lip gloss is the lightest, just a hint of red in that lip gloss so they are all different, they all do have sort of different purposes. Another takeaway is that I have been a little bit self-conscious this week. I've done this red lip challenge this week because I've got a fairly quiet work week. I didn't really have many meetings online so I thought okay this is the week where I can kind of like get away with wearing um, red lips and then also I didn't really have much going on outside of work as well so I felt like it was a comfortable time to do this challenge. However every morning when I've done my makeup I did feel a little bit self-conscious thinking oh I wonder if my boyfriend thinks that this is too much makeup or he doesn't like this lip and I know we shouldn't take that into consideration, we should wear the makeup that we want to wear because we want to wear it, but that still does play a bit of a role in my makeup choices, I, I will admit. But like I say with this one, I don't feel self-conscious in this one as well, so my boyfriend can say he doesn't like this and I wouldn't care because I really love this lip. And another thing that I've thought of is reapplication so some of these red lips last better than others so I know that this one will last really well so this one will require just a minimal touch up after I've had my lunch but with some of the other red lips it has been better to completely take the lip off and then start from scratch touching up a red lip can be a bit tricky and it can actually end up looking quite messy so for some of the lip colors and I think I think Velvet Dragon actually was one of them and also Brick, it was easier to completely take them off and then put them on again but with this one and I think Sweet Cinnamon they were just easy to just quickly kind of touch up. I won't be wearing red lips on a much more regular basis after this, I do like wearing a red lip and I do quite like having different red lips within my collection but I am still a neutral lip girl at heart but I do very much enjoy a red lip to add a bit more kind of interest I suppose to a makeup look or if I want to go for that typical French makeup look or if I've got an evening out or a special occasion where I'm not going to be eating then I would go for a red lip but I like doing little challenges like this these are really quite fun to do especially where I'm on my no buy and I can't be buying more makeup in it's about utilizing the makeup that I have so I might be doing something similar with like some of my orangey lipsticks perhaps or I might do like a wear all of my lipsticks for consecutive days after each other so I can get them all used but if you've got any suggestions of other kind of like challenges like this that you'd like to see please do let me know hope you did like it like I say let me know what your favorite lipstick out of the seven that I've worn is down below have a lovely rest of your day whatever it is you're doing and I'll see you again very soon for the next one bye <laughs>